Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video I'm going to be covering Shaft, and obviously it's the Image Comics version. Now he made his first appearance in Youngblood issue number one in April of 1992. His real name is Jeff Terrell, and he stands six feet tall, weighs 185 pounds, and has blue eyes and red hair. Now Shaft is the consummate leader, being the first one to head up the Youngblood team, implementing the plans of his very strategic mind in a charismatic way. He also possesses a vast knowledge of multiple fighting styles and techniques. This skill extends to using weaponry, such as swords, and most particularly being the greatest marksman known. Any ballistic weapon or throwable item will hit its mark with near superhuman accuracy. Although as far as we know, he does not have any official superhuman powers. If he's not in close quarters combat with you using his trusty sword, he's likely bearing down on you with his trademark bow and arrow, which happened to be developed with the use of Catalan anti-gravity technology, thus making the traditional string mechanism unnecessary. When this is combined with a wide variety of specialty arrows, you have a big problem on your hands. Just think of a Hawkeye with super high-tech alien technology and the leadership skills of Captain America, all rolled into one. Now when Jeff was growing up, you would never find him without his slingshot, always practicing his aim with every waking moment. And by the time he finished college and joined the FBI, he became one of their most decorated field agents, becoming a bit of a rock star within the agency for his eagle eye. So it seemed fitting that when the US government created the Youngblood superhero team, that Jeff was appointed to be their leader. This in itself was quite a show of respect, seeing as how he was the only one on the team to not have an obvious superpower. But despite his position and the respect that many had for him, his lack of superpowers actually made him feel insecure. Nevertheless, he adapted and successfully led his team on many different adventures, battling some of the world's toughest supervillains. He led his team so successfully that they saved the world multiple times, which actually led them to become rich and famous, even getting things like marketing deals on t-shirts and lunchboxes. Unfortunately, this team would eventually be dismantled. This came on the heels of an investigation and subsequent trial over the mysterious death of one of their members named Riptide. But this wouldn't hold down Shaft for too long because he later became the trainer and leader of a new Youngblood team. Now, due to his abilities and his influence on the Image Comics universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Shaft a rating of 7, which is a master rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe to the new Sage.